So I'm here, Dr. Saloni Misri, uh, going to be talking to you about the typical Hollywood smile that all of us desire. So we, it's not just about pretty damsels or it's not just about handsome boys, but all of us want a beautiful smile. A beautiful smile is the one which attracts, it has that appeal and that's something that's the first thing that everybody notices when you greet a person. What's a Hollywood smile? Well, the name Hollywood is because obviously it has glamour attached to it. Many of the patients come to, uh, uh, come to me and tell me, I want white smile. I want sparkling teeth. I want absolutely a Hollywood smile. Well, sparkling teeth, bleaching, uh, having uh, those white kind of teeth is not absolutely possible for everybody. Now, first thing, let us begin with something which is a little conservative and something that doesn't require uh, actual tooth preparation. If I have superficial stains, if I have something where I have yellowish teeth, the first thing that you need to do is maintain regular brushing, oral hygiene. That's the first thing that I'll tell anybody. Maintain proper oral hygiene, brush your teeth properly. If you have sticky food, brush again. That's your first thing. Secondly, you must have a checkup every single time. Go three monthly checkup and get your regular cleanup done. Third, now we're talking about bleaching. Bleaching is whitening of teeth. What? There are two types of bleaching. One is a home bleach. Second is an office bleach. Home bleach has around 3 to 10% of hydrogen peroxide, which is safer for our teeth. And that's something which is done over a period of one week, wherein we make trays and then we tell you, we give you that product of home bleach and then we tell you to put one, 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 one drop of that gel and wear that tray at night. So that's a progressive thing to be done over a one week period, seven days, every night. And that's what is called as a home bleach. That's going to give you the little bit of sparkling and whitening of the smile. There's something called as an office bleach. Consider tomorrow you have an extremely important interview. You have your engagement, you have your marriage and you come running and say, I want beautiful smile that's going to flash in my photographs. Well, that's the office bleach. Office bleach is something which happens in seconds. With the help of laser, we're using, but it is a higher type of hydrogen peroxide. It's almost around 20 to 30 percent of hydrogen peroxide. And with laser, we activate it, and that's going to give you an office bleach. But obviously, there are sensitivity problems related to it, so it's very important to use a desensitizing agent post bleaching. Now, that's possible only when you have superficial stains. What if you have more intrinsic stains? or something like discolored teeth, probably due to tetracycline stains or fluoride stains. You have probably, you know, in uh, had water which has a lot of fluoride content and that's going to give you those mottling of teeth, white spots and all those. In such cases, instead of directly jumping into caps and crowns which are going to reduce your teeth and something artificial, I would always say natural is better than artificial. So let's begin with something again which is minimal. minimal. Minimal invasive dentistry, that's the mantra, conservative dentistry. So if we are talking about conservative dentistry, then we begin with something called as veneers. They are also called as laminates, they are called as thinniers, or they are also called as minimal prep veneers. So depending upon the amount of reduction that is supposed to be done, how much of tooth structure needs to be a little bit shaped, and then you're actually going to be placing those veneers. Veneers, if you if you can, all, all those who have probably done those nail elamining, you know, when you have those artificial nails to be placed. Similarly, artificial laminates which are placed on the teeth are the veneers. Now, no prep veneers are something very, very thin. And normal conventional veneers are something which require a little bit around 0.8 to 1 millimeters of thickness is required and that's what is going to give you the veneers and you then you there is a specific procedure with which the veneer is actually luted or cemented onto your tooth and you have to be extremely careful because when you have these kind of veneers which are placed in your mouth they are like jewelry they are the jewelry of your mouth and you have to really really take care biting an apple or biting a chicky is something which you have to really be careful so these are the things which are actually you have you have to preserve them they are very precious to your mouth and you have to judiciously choose your treatment modality one another very important factor that most of us probably do not concentrate on or never even realize is parafunction or bruxism or clenching stress 
well that's something which we live breathe circulate in our system and i don't think any of us would probably deny that at any given point of time maybe it's not every day but some point of time we are severely stressed i would say 90% of the population bruxes or clenches during the day during the night time subconsciously or sometimes even consciously so clenching bruxism all these are activities which are going to fatigue your muscles fatigue your temporomandibular joint and that's going to actually give you pain many a times we get up in the morning not feeling fresh and we are extremely fatigued we don't feel that's because we've clenched at night this whole thing hurts so a very simple thing is understand relate to your dentist that this is the pain that i get it may not be always tooth related it may be purely related to your muscle fatigue it can also show early signs of grinding of your teeth and you will have flattening of your surfaces so the first thing that when you communicate with your dentist is when you tell him that him or her that this is the problem that you're facing then it's a night guard that you need to actually start wearing and break the habit so there are specific form of thicknesses of night guard and that's like very very important there are occlusive splints also available when you have a temporomandibular joint actual disorder so all these have to be with x rays temporomandibular joint x rays they have to be evaluated and the degree with which the problem lies is when you decide that what kind of splints will be given purely a night guard can be used at night to break your habit and prevent you from clenching so be aware about what are your subconscious do you actually clench subconsciously at night relieve your stress and go to your dentist and relate to your dentist that this is my problem <laughs>